welcome back to my channel today i would like to discuss about how we can automate the pen test report process see in your day to day life of security engineers or pen testers their job is to identify vulnerabilities later they need to write a report so while writing the report we generally face some problems like we need to have proper format and also we need to customize few things so while writing the documentation or writing the pen test report it's obvious that we need to take care of the format so which i don't like usually so i just want to automate this process by reducing the time that we are spending for uh, formatting of the document so let's see how we can achieve that we'll just simply focus on writing the description about the vulnerability and the poc only remaining things will be taken care by tool called sysreptor so it is a tool which is easy and customizable pen test report creator so let's see at the installation of it so here are the steps that we need to follow for the installation so here i am here it is giving installation for uh, ubuntu right now i'm using mac os so i'll just install latest docker clicking on this it's getting downloaded docker see whether it is installed or not yeah it got installed successfully so until now we have installed uh, docker now let's see how we can install sysreptor for that just simply copy and uh, paste this simply copied and pasted and later i just hit enter so installation is going on so once we are done with the installation procedure we will get credentials like this let's log in into the tool so here i need to give my credentials which i got from here so for time being i'm skipping it so it is our first page after the login now i want to create a new project i'll create a project called some random 
you can mention your project name or the target application name where you are doing your pen testing and here uh, you can select different designs there are three designs available here uh, first one is this second and third let's see how this designs look like I am clicking on first design see it is uh, being loaded see the document will look like this and this report with the details and the table of contents like this and the executive summary and some visualization methodology finding details etc even you can customize this design also via this uh, by changing this HTML and you can change uh, these logos and all by deleting and after that uploading your customized image you can do that let's see uh, that part in later of this video uh, first let's see what are all the designs we have that is first design looks like and uh, this is the second design that we have yeah like this we have the second design where it will look like this I like this design personally so I am using this design uh, there is a third design it is keep on loading yeah this will be look like this this is the third design that we have so you can select while creating the project what design that you like most so now I am giving the name of it and I am selecting the design of second type next I am creating it so here once you click on create you will see different sections executive summary scope and customer where you are running your pen test against and there are some finding section and findings you can create so here I am just giving a random data I need to perform pen test on my target zero 01 I can click on save suppose if if you feel okay you have written all your summary you can change the status to finished next scope here my scope would be https example.com so here i can also give duration suppose pen test is seven days uh, from from first to uh, seventh I can mention I clicked on save so customer so some random customer name <laughs> suppose you are uh, testing your client you can mention the client name here I'm clicking on save now I want to add findings see in findings also we have a lot of templates like this predefined templates suppose if you find XQL injection you can use these templates if you find XX you can use this template right now I'm creating one empty finding here I want to give all my title I'll give IDOR here CVSS calculator also included here so you can click on that and you can click on cvss 4.0 and you can click on all the things according to your uh, finding so attack vector i'm giving it network attack complexity low attack requirements 
మ్యాన్ ప్రివిలేజెస్ రిక్వైర్డ్ మ్యాన్ యూజర్ ఇంటరాక్షన్ మ్యాన్ కన్ఫిడెన్షియాలిటీ హై ఇంటిగ్రిటీ అవైలబిలిటీ హై అండ్ ఐఎమ్ క్లికింగ్ ఆన్ హై సి బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ది ఇన్పుట్స్ ఐఎమ్ గివింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గివింగ్ మీ ది ర్యాంక్స్ ఆర్ ది సివియారిటీ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ ఐ చేంజ్ దీస్ సెట్టింగ్స్ ఇట్ విల్ గివ్ డిపెండ్ ఆన్ దిస్ వన్ సో ది సివియర్స్ ఇస్ ఈజ్ యూజ్ ఫర్ ఫైండింగ్ ది సివియారిటీ ఆఫ్ ది వల్నరబిలిటీ ఓకే సో ద అప్లికేషన్ you have to write all your summary here later you can mention affected component i can mention the same so here you need to give a technical description so instead of writing this one here you can simply cut it here and write it here and you can add your steps to reproduce like this and log in to application just some xyz steps you can mention here you can give uh, about ida summary what it is how uh, how it can determine like that some id or description uh, you can mention here and uh, similarly recommendation you can mention the mitigation for the fix how we can fix that you can also mention all your either cv cw e references by pasting the link here and if you want to add any images you can simply click on the image and you can add images as well so for the sake of demonstration i am just adding this script or image itself so after that you can also mention the status of the vulnerability or the retest status so you can click on save similarly you can create multiple findings uh, this time i'll select predefined create from template if you select predefined see the cvss score the issue name and the summary everything will be coming out so that you can modify your description where you have found how you can do the steps to reproduce you can customize so it will eliminate the hurdle to write all this description and all so you can simply click on save okay this is how we can create our report let's go to publish so in this way we can write our reports and later we can see how it can look like see table of contents with vulnerability details and the executive summary that i have written methodology and the scope i have mentioned example.com see here uh, it is giving me some uh, visualization so i have found both critical issues if you click on this it can go to the psc sql we have remediation status criticality cvss score effects overview description everything the second thing the second vulnerability and list of changes disclaimer so the formatting everything it will be taken care of just we need to add our vulnerability details etc like this uh you can also customize your design suppose if you don't like this design you can click on customize you can select or you can customize this design by simply you can remove on this logos 
if you don't like it if you want your customized logos here you can add that is up to you so everything we can customize here I have just removed them now I want I can upload my own so I have uploaded uh, this logo now I can paste this link in this oh, assets logo name I can refresh the PDF see now I got this as my logo so in this way you can able to customize it's up to you you can go to publish if you want to download the report then you can click on this report if you want to even encrypt this PDF you can use the generated password and you can download the report you don't want to encrypt the report you can untick it you can download the report and it will be downloaded so in this way we can uh, write our report